Hi, Hogzilla here. Today's game we'll be covering is SimTown. SimTown was developed by Maxis in 1995. Um, it was the kids version of SimCity so that uh, younger kids that might not be able to pick up on SimCity would have their own Sim game, game to play uh, with a, a, a much more watered down functionality as we're going to see. Um, I remember getting this game thinking, oh, it's just another great Sim game and finding out, well, this is kind of beneath me. Um, so we're going to try this game here, see what we can create. But as you're going to see, there's not much to this game. So uh, let's get started here. Uh, let's turn off our eco-villains and our disasters. Um, make sure that these are still turned off. They are. Let's go ahead and pick somewhere in the center of the map. Um, go ahead. I always started with the road because as you could see, the road can go over only certain sections. Kind of similar to building the interstate on SimCity 2000 where the interstate could only go over certain tiles. So that used to always kind of screw me up when trying to build an interstate on that game, um, which sounds like a good game to also include in this series. Oh, and that was my first thing I was worried about was uh, misclicking uh, with the game pause. The stuff doesn't go away right away. Uh, so let's go ahead and get our road built. Actually, there's really no purpose to the roads. It's kind of there for aesthetic purposes. Uh, but I built it because, you know what, I wanted to. So generally how I used to play this game is I just go top to bottom on industries and build each one of these individually and one thing I did like about this game is you used to be able, I think, click on, yep, certain things, and they would interact with uh, the object. Another one, I believe, is the pizza up here. You used to be able to make little chunks come out of it. And I think that used to apply to every object in this game, except um, the newspaper stand didn't have anything. Yep, and that lights up. So let's go ahead, get our toy factory in here. We got ourselves a pet store, office building, gas station. We got a radio and TV station. I will put one of these. I'm not sure where. I guess we're not going for uh, beauty points here, so we'll just put it anywhere. So let's just go back up here. We'll add to the road okay it looks like we got all the kind of what do you say commerce -y items now let's get on to the entertainment items so we got a pool hall bowling alley the community center The arcade.
Arcade. Whoop. And there was another one of those misclicks. Now we have a movie theater, a zoo, and a toy shop. So we'll just throw the toy shop up here. Um, now we kind of got these governmental buildings. So let's add our post office, medical clinic, the jail police. We got the fire station, the civic center, we got a library, and I'm not going to do the school just yet. School is kind of a unique scenario. Um, as you're going to see, I'm going to stick with either ranch houses or... Um, trailer houses and the reason is because the kids need to go to school in this game but you need to know how many schools to build so it's kind of a balancing act almost so I'm going to start with Let's see here. Um, we're going to start with... I think four schools, but we might end up getting rid of some. Because you're going to need people to teach the students and um, the students themselves. So... Let's go ahead and start building uh, some of the houses. See, I've seen a lot of people go right for apartments, but apartments can have like a disproportionate number of students. And then you have too many students for the school. It, it just, it turns into a nightmare. So, what I'm trying to do here now is, as you can see up here at the top, the balance of this town is there's more commerce than residents. So, what I want is this to be as close um, to balanced as possible. And I want as many houses as I can fit in there before houses tip over. So this is kind of a tedious uh, portion, but we're going to build a whole bunch of mobile homes. Because at worst, out of a mobile home, you can uh, end up with one adult and one student. So at least you're getting one to one. So as you can see, my population is slowly going up by two, and eventually we will be able to balance this out. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the song because I can get a little monotonous after a while, so... Not sure exactly why I'm trying to go for absolute perfection here. I mean, as long as I kind of keep it in the bounds of the, the city here city blocks I should be okay <laughs> you 
Yeah, so I played this game a little bit um, when it first came out, but I just kind of outgrew it. Um, I'm trying to leave a little gap in there so the people that come out of the houses have somewhere to move. Um, another reason to put these gaps in here. Um, also, another thing about this game is it stresses like managing your resources. So as you're going to see here in a little bit, um, we're going to hop to the resource menu. And that's going to... Um, That's going to contain all your crops, your trees, your water. Uh, air pollution is in there too. And I don't know if I said garbage, but garbage is in there. Um, and there's like, there are scenarios with this game where you would have like a garbage problem, a tree problem, and that, but they're not much more than creating a, uh, a town and then just clicking the resource. Um, as you can see, this layout is very basic, really meant for, uh, kids. Um, instead of trying to get them started on SimCity or SimCity 2000. Um, as we click, click, and click some more, trying to get all these mobile homes with hopefully not too many kids in there. I think it's like roughly 200 I'm going to need to cover all the commerce, entertainment, and government offices. Uh, but we should see this eventually uh, tilt towards level. Let's just come back here. Like I said, very basic gameplay here. Yep, there we go. So now it's balanced. But what I want, I want it is balanced as much as possible towards residential. Because you don't you don't want to be so close to commerce that one house goes down and you're you're unbalanced. And you want to be able to get um, employees for all these businesses. Okay, so there we go. So I'm unbalanced towards the resident. I'll take one away. Perfect. So let's go ahead. Let's change the song again. <laughs> I always like song three on this. So let's go ahead and hit go. Uh, let's go ahead. We got our crops. And you have these credit points you're allotted each year. Um, let's get our, our air pollution and recycling is good. never understood why they made you do that but whatever whoop I got a little bulldozer happy but anyway so now what we'll do here is we will correct our mistake um, let's go ahead and hit go here you're going to want to uh, cut the editing right here. Huh. 
So, I fixed my road mistake there. As you can see, we are fully balanced still. So let's go ahead and zoom out for a second. Um, what I usually check at this point is the schools. Every building, if it ain't fully utilized correctly, can crumble. And it'll, it'll be a darker color and shade. Maybe I'll do some later. Um, but if you don't correct that, they'll eventually turn into rubble, a crumbled mess. Um, so I'm going to hit my uh, hourglass here, do my shift click. Oh, no employees. School needs students. I have no employees here. It looks like we are still getting... Um, okay, so now there's a fourth employee here. If we keep going here, the employees will slowly fill in these last remaining businesses. And nothing should be crumbling. This is why I always build one over or a one under the limit of residential because then the balance will work itself out. Um, they'll all get jobs here. The last one's being the school. Okay, so the third one has um, has uh, enough employees and students. So let's keep going. This one has employees, but no students. I forgot, it's like 20. I could count here quick. Three, six, nine, 10, 13, 16. Yeah, about 20. I, I think it varies per school, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And I don't know if you saw that. I've, weird lunch combination there some of these uh, notes are or statuses are funny yeah turkey tazzini fruit salad and lemon cake oh I'm not a big fan of lemon cake anyway I might end up I might end up getting rid of that school I'm not sure just yet we'll let her go just a little bit more I don't want this to get too unbalanced this is always the tricky part so at the end here I might either get rid of this school let's see here So we need to get, oh man, we're up to five with no students. So all the students are still slowly trickling in here. I come worried if this does turn color, um, that dark kind of, how you say, in disuse color. Um, but we'll hang on here a little bit. See how our supplies of everything are doing they're doing just fine so like I said this is a a, a program geared more towards uh, kids who couldn't um, figure out uh, Sim City um, so it it's kind of got that folksy kids look got a police car running around here i think you can click on there we go yeah you can click on the police car hey what's wrong with leftover tuna nuda surprise i like that okay the school's got to be getting close here so what i usually do at this point is i might take out a school and I count how many employees it has. And I might... I might uh, uh, find houses that 
equate to five. So I'll probably need a two two and a one one house. I mean <laughs> the lunch is good with that chicken soup, but man, I don't like lima beans. Have a little fun here with the buildings. I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah, the gas station's like a slot machine. Um, yep, that's. Some of these have multiple, I think. I don't remember. Yep, and that was the pencil. Yep, this one has multiple. That one has three. I'm trying to remember what the trailer park... Oh, isn't it the mailbox? Or the flamingo? So let's go back to our school here. School has none. I'm thinking a can in the school here, uh, but it's gonna throw everything out of balance. So we need to identify these houses. So we're gonna wanna get rid of that house, that house. Okay, we'll get rid of these three houses, I believe is what we're gonna wanna do. So let's go ahead. Yep, so I threw that out of balance. That did not throw enough back. Um, we need another one with just a kid in it. Um. Throw these middle ones up. Middle. Let's see if we can figure this out. This can always be tricky sometimes. Trying to figure out what houses to get rid of. Okay. Man, a lot of... Well, that's the reason I use the uh, trailers, because you can have a lot of two no-kid households. I might balance this back out with a business, actually now because I've gotten rid of a lot here. Can we do another hardware store and just Nope, that's not enough. That's another thing that you... uh, UI is just a little clunky, not too bad. Um Okay, man, oh man, getting rid of that school, really, really messed up the, the balance, but I was going to end up with a bad school, and I was going to end up with doing this anyway, so, there we go, balance is back, let's just make sure employees get in here. Let's just make sure we're one over. Let's put in a ranch house. It, it basically does... Ah, it's too much. Okay, so... Ranch house basically does the same thing, but... Could have a little more chance of a... a one kid, one parent. So 
So let's go ahead and get some people in here. Well, I'm sure the people will get in here. So I think that's enough for this video. Um, this is a brief look at SimTown. Um, if you like what you saw, leave me a like or drop me a comment. And we'll see you next time.